Hey everybody, it's Larry, One Man Garage. I'm uh, finally working on the Firebird. It's been like two months or six weeks or so. So um, follow along if I get this finished the next day or two. The video part, not the car probably. Hey, we're uh, under the Firebird. We've got the uh, new Grade 8 hardware previous discussed. For the pressure plate, all six of those with grade 8 washers are torqued down on the used center force clutch with the new disc. We've got the, uh, still haven't cranked it up Pontiac motor there, but we're getting close. I've got the uh, bottom four bell housing bolts in. See that right there, shiny stuff. Uh, those are torqued, so that's all square. Got the uh, clutch fork in, and it has that little bit of dead wobble you want when it's not pressed. Could stand to be a bit looser, but it's fun for the crank up because it's going to be in neutral. Got the uh, little nuts here tightened up shifter. It's in neutral on the Borg Warner Super T10. You're going to see that uh, once this thing's running and the rear end stuff's done and it drives, you know, I've got the seats and carpet out of it because, oh, yes, yes, it needs some floor pan patches uh yeah like kind of this in here is causes an exhaust leak doesn't really create the driving experience you want um factory undercoat is intact that means the old greasy motor that leaked so but there's some floor holes over there too because you know you got to drain the water out you know when these things sit up like they do so sort of the cause and effect uh, but yeah so starters gonna be next but my feet are burning in the Sun here it's kind of hot so I'm gonna take a break I'll check back on the starter next hey folks back under the car again had a little break uh, starter boom I had like a brand new starter off of something I had uh, the Pontiac and Oldsmobile use the same starter, same tooth count on the flywheel, so that is handy if you're keeping both of those kind of cars. So it has got one shim in it and torqued up. Uh, something to remember is when you're clocking and torquing the battery cable, uh, before you connect any battery power to it, you need to really make sure you can see that you're not pushing that battery cable up against the block when you tighten the starter. That happens a lot. And uh, sometimes you can, once the bolts are in the starter, you can pull and bend the tang on the cable so it'll fold back. And I've got clearance, so it is not hitting. But needless to say, you got to check that and make sure before you put power. And then, uh, little uh, for the gym guys you know this uh, wire it's it's actually it looks kind of reddish but it's actually the purple wire for the starter you know on the old GM cars you know you had the purple was the start wire for the solenoid and then like the blue small wire would be the oil pressure sending unit for the gauge and then up on the head or intake you got like the light little small green one would be the temperature gauge you can always go by that but, uh, check back later. <laughs> I still got to, uh, get the alternator and brackets and power steering and all that stuff up on the front of this. So I've got plenty to do up here, plus buy a battery so we can get this thing fired up this weekend. Today's Thursday, so hopefully I'll have another video with it fired up. Let's hear that cam and everything later on this weekend. Appreciate it. Watch, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. Thank you.